we do need reform. We need to um, look at the whole structure. Um, and I think what people need to realise is that the public service is made up of so many civil servants and then the rest are public and um, the other public servants, the majority of the other public servants are our frontline services. We've got the police, nurses, teachers, and you know people working on the roads and that on an awful day like today. Um, and I and I think um, you know it's been reviewed, 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 and there hasn't been any action because it's, the numbers are still increasing. Do you think the terms incremental then is perhaps masking a delaying of of what should be happening? The only incremental I'm seeing is an increase, so um, that's the incremental that that is out there. It's you know the costs are going up, the numbers are going up, um, and one of the things which I know is always an argument is that um, when a great a higher grade leaves, they replace it with a lower grade, but they replace it with two lower grades. So actually, the numbers aren't decreasing, um, and you know I'm not saying that's in every department, but certainly it's a, it's it's a feature that's within there, and, and we've got bloat. What would you like to see then in, in a quite immediate or practical way? I, I think it's got to be a, it's got to be a decision that comes comes from the top. We've got to look at this, the whole structure. A structural review is the whole structure, not just looking at little parts of of um, areas, um, and decide what services the Isle of Man can afford and what we want to deliver. And at that point, you will then know what you need to create. There's been reports 2006, 2012, and basically I feel, and I know this is what's happened, um, it's just shifting people around departments but not actually decreasing numbers or making anything more efficient. So what I want to see is a better service for the people of the Isle of Man and public service delivered. I'm sure on the other side, the, the the chief minister, the minister for policy and reform, would argue that is all going on. How could you monitor that in a more real term? Um, they might say it's going on. I'm not sure I'm seeing it going on. So um, you know, you can only do that by uh, asking questions, getting getting figures and statistics, and obviously reviewing it and challenging it. Um, you know, you've got to keep challenging to make sure it happens. I'm sure you have been challenging. What what responses have you got and how do you feel about what you have uh, had in response? Um, actually, I had a written answer yesterday, but um, the, the response, I've actually gone back to Minister Thomas today because um, the response isn't really adequate for what I was asking. So um, I'll wait and see what, what he gives me back on that one. <laughs> you mentioned there's bloat earlier. Where is there a specific areas that you see bloat? I, I have real concern because um, what's been happening for years now is it's been percentage increases and in pay awards to to all of the services. But what that, what's that create? What that has created is erosion of pay at the lower end. And if you think of so our nurses, twenty five thousand pound, our police, all these people around those sort of salaries, when it's a percentage increase, the erosion in their salary grades in comparison to somebody getting a percentage pay increase at the top is, is quite significant. Something I, I spoke to Mr Thomas about was uh, what actually it constitutes a civil ser uh, service servant, I suppose, uh, but it's the clarification between who this is actually affecting. The numbers are only eight to 900 as opposed to the 2,500 mark that has been quoted. I'm not sure what figures they are. They don't, um, there's seven th about 7,800, 900 public servants. So um, is he saying seven, 800? I believe in the civil service. Yeah, no, there's a lot more than that okay. in the civil service. <laughs> well, I think it, it's the, the people that this, in terms of who who they would be restructuring then, I suppose. Yeah, he's probably speaking possibly. I've been asking questions since I was first elected in November 2016 was the first start of my questions, and I've done numerous asking for salary grades over 50,000 for various scenarios. Um I think he's probably talking about the people over fifty thousand pounds. There's probably seven or eight hundred, um, which you know that that that's something that needs looking at. Civil service previously, prior to the ministerial system, there was an SEO and a CEO. Now we have SEOs, and then you have open grade structures above that. Then you have directors. Then you have uh, deputy CEOs. That was never in the civil service structure. Um, you know, I've worked in it a long time. <laughs>